Hello, hello friends! Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you are new here, kindly subscribe to join this family. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to crochet this daisy granny square. These are the three colors I used. You can use any three colors of your choice. To begin, take these two fingers of your left hand rub this yarn this way hold here where the two pieces are meeting take your crochet hook pick this yarn this way take out one finger hold here so that you take the other finger then hold below the crochet hook chain one and fasten to secure this loop so we have made a magic ring then you are going to chain three and this chain 3 will count as our first double crochet. So yarn over in the magic ring. Make the second double crochet this way. Yarn over, make the third double crochet. Yarn over make the fourth double crochet and you are going to continue making double crochets in this magic ring until you have eight double crochets so i have five double crochets continue until you have eight when you have made eight this tail of this yarn you pull it to close the magic ring then slip stitch at the top of the chain 3 that we made when we were beginning this row after slip stitching chain 1 and cut So row 1 is done. To begin the next row, go through in between the double crochets and attach your second yarn. Tie ones to secure. Then you are going to go along with these two loose ends. So where you attached your yarn, go through, draw a loop and chain one, two, and three. After chaining three, yarn over, go through the same place, draw up a loop. When you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two only, yarn over, go to the same place the second time, draw up a loop. When you have four loops, yarn over, draw through two only yarn over go through the third time draw up a loop when you have five loops yarn over draw through two only yarn over go through the same place the fourth time draw up a loop then when you have six loops yarn over draw through two you'll have five remaining yarn over pull through all the five chain two one two yarn over Go to the next space in between the double crochets. Remember to go along with these two loose yarns. You draw up a loop. When you have three loops, yarn over, draw through two only, yarn over, go through the same place the second time, draw up a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two only, yarn over, the, go there the third time. Draw up a loop, pull through two only, yarn over, go through the same stitch the first time, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two only, you'll be having five loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all the five. Chain two, go to the next space in between the double crochets. The first time you draw a loop, yarn over, pull through two only, yarn over, go through the second time, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two only, yarn over, go through the third time, draw up a loop, 
pull through two only yarn over pull through the fourth time pull a loop then you pull through two only you'll be having five remaining yarn over pull through all the five chain two and go to the next space in between the double crochet and repeat making the petals the same way we have been making um at the end here after making this last petal i'll chain two and slip stitch at the top of the chain three that i made when beginning this row so by the end of this row you should be having eight petals in total after slip stitching you chain one and cut So you should be having eight petals then you are going to attach your third color in between the chain spaces of these petals you attach another color of your choice tie once to secure go through the chain space draw up a loop and chain three one two three yarn over in the same chain space make a double crochet then as you are going to make these double crochets go along with this loose yarn so make a double crochet those are two yarn over into the same place make the third double crochet and you want to make a corner here so you will chain two and make three more double crochets in the same chain space so after chaining two this is the first one make the second one and the third double crochet that way so we have a corner here then yarn over go to the next chain space make three double crochets in the same chain space only three double crochets this is two and the third double crochet then the next chain space is a corner so you make three double crochets chain three three double crochets the way we made the first corner then the next chain space make three double crochets i have made one this is the second one and the third double crochet then the next chain space is a corner you make three double crochets chain three three double crochets in the same chain space the way we made the other two corners the next chain you make three double crochets in the same chain space one make the second one two and the third double crochet three after that the next chain space is a corner so make three double crochets chain three three double crochets in the same chain space so we have made four corners the next chain space make three double crochets in the same chain space this is the second and finally the third one that way when you are done slip stitch at the top of this chain three we made when beginning this row chain one and cut so we are done making this we have four corners each of the four corners has three double crochets chain three three double crochets then a cluster of three double crochets in each of the four corners and this is how it looks we are done making it so go ahead and weave in the loose ends and that is the end thank you for watching i hope this was helpful kindly subscribe and see you next